So, okay, thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and get started so we can keep on time. We have a very full agenda with regards to our our presentations today. Um, welcome to our Project Cities Inaugural Partnership for our spring semester program. Semester. Uh, my name is Ann Richman. I am director of the Sustainable Cities Network here at the Julianne Wrigley Global Institute of Sustainability. Uh, I'm also the director of the New Project Cities program. I'd like to introduce. Uh, I'm Paul Prosser. I'm the program manager for Project Cities. I also work with the uh, School of Sustainability, Master of Sustainability Solutions students uh, on different projects like these, but some of them are involved in this in this uh, program as well. So I want to welcome city staff from our inaugural partner city, uh, Apache Junction. We'll do introductions in, in a few minutes. Also our ASU faculty, all the uh, professors that have been involved in it, also our students. Thank you so much for agreeing to, to join us and participate. And of course, uh, everyone else who may be interested in Project Cities and what uh, the students have done for Apache Junction, welcome. Uh, we'll talk about a, a few housekeeping items to begin with. So if you could all do me a favor first and take your phones out and silence your phones, that would be greatly appreciated just to be respectful of our students presenters. Uh, help yourself. We have drinks in the back. We also have some light snacks over on the side. So feel free to get up and help yourself at any point in time. We also have recycling and trash bins. Uh, restrooms are out the doors and to the right and then a right, so you can't miss them there. Uh, our presentations from today will be on the Project Cities website probably within the next couple of weeks. We are videotaping this set of presentations, so we hope to also make those available. That'll take a little bit longer to summarize and synthesize, but uh, we will certainly post those and make that available via email links and that as well. And the final reports, which will be compiled after the semester is over, will be available probably early in the summer months once the City of Apache Junction has had the opportunity to review and approve those. So, so with that, we will go ahead and kind of move forward. So uh, with Project Cities, this is a relatively new program for the School of Sustainability. Uh, the Global Institute of Sustainability and for ASU. We're very excited. This is our second semester with Apache Junction. And we just finalized our fall 2017 reports mm -hmm. from fall semester. So those should be available shortly. Um, we have three goals primarily that we want to make this a really engaging opportunity for applied learning for our students. Uh, we want them to get the hands-on experience and test those theories that they're learning in all of your classes, so that's really important. Um, the projects are based on student work, so we want to remind everybody that as much as we would like to think our students are professionals, these are <coughs> students learning to be professionals, and so to keep that in mind uh, with the presentations and uh, the information recommendations, and also we want to create kind of a, a safe learning environment for students so they have the opportunity to engage with professional staff learn some of those professional skills um, so that they are ready when they um, graduate to go out and work for organizations like these. So, um, this semester we had 70 plus students in five classes uh, participate, so we are very excited that uh, we had such a healthy uh, participation. We had two classes that were online, so that was, we're, we're kind of constantly refining that online experience uh, for learning. So we appreciate Apache Junction and working with that. So at this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Dan Childers, who will be providing a welcome on behalf of the ASU Wrigley Institute uh, Directorate. Uh, Dan is a sustainability scientist for the School of Sustainability and also director of our CAP LTER program, which stands for Central Arizona Phoenix Long-Term Ecological Research Program. So Dan? With that, would you like to join us up here? So uh, welcome, everyone. Um, as you heard, Anne was hoping to get one of our uh, School of Sustainability or GEOS administrators up here to do this auspicious um, opening 
and they were all busy. And so you can tell by the way I'm dressed that I am not a university administrator. I'm just a plain old faculty member. I am the director of Cap LTER. Um, <clears throat> actually, a little story. I got up this morning and I looked on my phone at my calendar, and it said, "Wear jeans today." And so I did what my phone told me, and it wasn't until a short while ago that I discovered that I'm actually supporting a cause of some kind by wearing denim on today's ASU Day of Denim. So, so that's part of the reason that I'm not dressed like a university today. <clears throat> I want to start off with just a couple of words about ASU and urban systems research and urban sustainability. Um, we are um, an internationally recognized hub of excellence in urban research and urban action, urban knowledge to action. Um, I have more than once been at conferences around the world <clears throat> and heard colleagues who do urban ecological research refer to us as the ASU Urban Mafia. And I know I have some colleagues that take a little bit of offense at that, but I actually am kind of proud of it. And so one of the things that we have done here is we've developed this, this cohort of multi-generational researchers and, and action people associated with making cities better and more sustainable places to live. Cap LTER started that about 20 years ago, actually exactly 20 years ago when we were funded by the National Science Foundation to begin studying the Phoenix metro area as an, a social ecological system, as an urban ecosystem. Since then, there have been many other, even larger projects that have been funded by the NSF and by others. Um, and a key component of that is that we have to do more than study cities. We have to make cities better places to live. And so these bridge organizations that, that take the researchers and the students doing research and move them into the communities where they can make a difference are very important. The Sustainable Cities Network is exactly that kind of a battery organization. Um, our relationship with the Sustainable Cities Network is very important to us. Um, and Project Cities is in its second semester of doing exactly what they say they're going to do. They put their money where their mouth is, and they've gotten out there, and they've gotten into the cities. They've taken the, the knowledge that has been generated over decades by the urban mafia, which is what we are, folks, um, and taken it to Apache Junction in hopes of making Apache Junction a better place to live tomorrow and in the future. So our thanks to the folks at Apache Junction for uh, being involved with this, for opening your calendars, I'm sure, for opening your time and for opening your minds to allowing our students to come in and work with you. This is a tremendous experience for them. It's a very valuable experience for them, undergraduates, master's students, um, and I suspect what we're going to hear today is an example of how this Project Cities model, um, using Apache Junction as the guinea pig first off, right, is, is promoting urban sustainability through the knowledge that we're generating here at ASU in a very positive way. And so thanks to Apache Junction, uh, thanks to Anne and Paul and all of your hard work, thanks to all of you who spent the semester working so hard with Apache Junction and in Apache Junction, and enjoy your afternoon. Thank you, Dan. Um, it's my job now to introduce you to some of our city partners. Um, I'd like to ask Larry Kirch, who is the Director of Development Services at Apache Junction, to come up uh, and help us to introduce um, some of our partners at Apache Junction. Larry, uh, take it away. All right, thank you. Good, great to be here. Great to be back at ASU. We did this last semester. This is really cool. I love these projects that we've been able to work with students and bring some ideas and fresh life into the into the city. Um, today with us, we have the Vice Mayor Chip Wilson is here today. I know another council member, Struble, was going to be here. Maybe he's going to come a little bit late. Uh, city Manager Brian Powell is here. He's going to get up in a couple of seconds to uh, uh, have a few remarks. Um, just going quickly through the projects. Matthew McNulty, some of you work with Matthew on Positively AJ in the two courses that were involved there, and both of them were pretty neat, and I think uh, already uh, some ideas coming out of there. Um, exploring new revenue sources, uh, Matt uh, Busby is the assistant city manager. Uh, he couldn't make it, he got called away to another meeting, and Anna McCray works with Bryant, assistant to the city manager. That's exploring new revenue sources. And just today I got an email about the Lincoln Institute of Land Policies having an international conference on 
what's going on with cities and revenue for cities. So I think this is really timely. Maybe someone can do a poster session at that conference right at the end of May. So, um, planning for a sustainable future. We're just having a kickoff meeting next week for um, our general plan. We have to update it every two years. So the class that um, Sarah was working on with her students is the timing is like perfect just as we kick off this thing. So helping on that project, uh, myself and uh, Rudy Esquivius. And then transitioning uh, mobile home parks, uh, Heather Patel is kind of our grants housing expert at the city, so she helped on a project last semester. So Heather's here, and Rudy helped on that project as well. And Dave Zellner, our, our building official. So I think that was kind of our team this semester. There's more folks that uh, kind of behind the scenes that have been involved in some of these projects. But um, we couldn't do it without you, and I couldn't do it without everybody's uh, excitement and in being involved in it. So, Bryant wants to take a few words. Bryant, do you want to take a couple words? Okay. He you, wants Larry. to see Sparky. Is oh, really? Sparky yeah. still out in the hallway? <laughs> yeah, no. Thank you very much. So first, I really want to uh, have a call out to Apple or Outlook and let them know they didn't get the genes memo on my calendar. <laughs> I really like that. Do that more. It is our honor and our pleasure and opportunity to be inaugural city. My name is Brian Powell. I'm the city manager and live in the city of Apache Junction. I am an Arizona native. I grew up in Safford, Arizona and am now raising our family in Apache Junction. We've lived there for 17 years. And when I think about urban management, I think about uh, the opportunity that it is our community who's really uh, a new city, 35 years old. They are not Mesa, 100 something years old. that predates the state. We just got a sewer in 1996. We have two water companies. We've got a fire district. We're kind of trying to figure out who we are. And so I see us as a blank slate. I see us as great opportunity to learn and embrace all that is out there. And so uh, we have, are working a, a lot with our partners, uh, property owners that are in in, in Apache Junction, uh, primarily a bunch. Uh, we right up next. Fish and Mountains and the National Wilderness, Federal Lands, BLM, State Land Department also is a big partner. So I, I, I send my huge thanks to everything that's going on. And I'll just make a couple comments. Um, as we work with residents, as big stakeholders, our business folks that are in the community, and I also think our future residents that aren't here yet, um, we have a big job. The impact and the decisions we make really are very important. So we have gone through a process of, of uh, articulating a new vision. And I would just like to extend for the first four uh, groups that have gone through, just last week, we received their ex uh, our first presentation. And then on the calendar and on our city council agenda, on Tuesday night is council direction of staff on one component of our uh, recycling efforts um, and our trash uh, solid waste uh, collection. How we're going to do that. We have what I call a true private-private effort out there, and in the long term, is that going to work? Well, we've got some recommendations from you, and we presented those, and now we're going to present, or our, our council wants us to take the next step, which is what we call formally as council direction of staff, and then we will take on, on to the next phase and do what's called an RP. So I wanted to communicate that we are taking what you're uh, giving us, and we're, we're embracing it. Homelessness, we're just talking about some great ideas. For next phase on the dog park, we've got some great ideas and some great thoughts moving forward, and we will probably have that one be our next one. The council will give us. So we look forward to these today. We look forward to the future day when we can have those presentations again with our city council. And again, thank you for letting us be the first one. Um, I just want to spend a couple of minutes uh, introducing our faculty that work on the projects with our students. Let me get to the right page. Right here. Um, first, I want to uh, want to point out um, Malcolm Goggin, uh, who's back there, um, whose class is Public Affairs Capstone 509. Um, Malcolm's been working with us now for two semesters, um, and his students worked on the revenue sources uh, project for Apache Junction, and they'll be presenting some interesting findings here in a few minutes. I think they're going to be first up. Um, then we have uh, Jeremiro in the back um, from the School of 
Geographic Sciences and Urban Planning, whose uh, Planning Sustainable Communities class uh, put together uh, some of the recommendations for a sustainable future for Apache Junction and how they could get that into their uh, general plan 2020 update. Uh, and we have um, Deirdre Pfeiffer, I think she's way in the back, um, who has helped uh, her graduate student, Gurnor Kaur, um, work on the transitioning mobile homes uh, and RV parks um, project, which is a, a look at some of the uh, 125 mobile home parks that Apache Junction has within their boundary. And then last but not least, we have Josh McFadgen right there, um, whose History of the Wild class uh, looked at um, some of the environmental and cultural assets in Apache Junction, tried to map some of those favorite places that uh, Apache Junction people hold dear in their hearts. Um, and he had help from my own um, sustainability student, Andres uh, Gonzalez, um, who is doing his Master of Sustainability Solutions project based on the mapping project. So, um, oh, Stephanie, where's Stephanie? There she is. Stephanie's class came out to um, Flatiron Park um, for the Positivity of Hazard Junction project um, and did some performances. And I think she's going to give us a little taste today. Her class is going to give us a little taste of what they did out there in the park so that if you didn't make it, um, you can enjoy it today. Um, and then we have, yeah, I think that's everybody. Five, right? Yeah. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll get started with the first project. And I'm going to let Ann introduce um, that group. All right. So then we are going to switch uh, PowerPoint presentations first, please. On and air. Uh, so our first project that we're going to be talking about is exploring new revenue sources. So this is not project class. And um, most people don't understand or know that Apache Junction relies on retail sales tax for most of its revenue, and it does not have a property tax. Uh, so with companies like Amazon and other online sales competing with local retailers, uh, it's expected that you know the tax revenue are declining and will continue to decline. So the city has to come up with some creative ways on how to create revenues uh, to help with their anticipated growth, uh, their services, and of course, you know, residential. So this was a very important and timely project, as, as Larry had mentioned. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Malcolm. Uh, we do have the display board, the project board over here, so you can take a look at it afterwards. Thank you. 